Weather should not stop you from getting a good glass of whiskey, but there are some very important things to consider before filling up your glass. Let's get into it. I don't know if where you are, it's anything like where I am, but it has been hot as hell lately. During this heat wave, I found myself kind of reaching for one particular whiskey more than most. So why am I reaching for it now when it's hot outside? That question alone got me thinking, and it came down to me three main reasons. Proof, mash bill, and age. Let's go through each one and see exactly why I think those impact the choices of what I drink on a hot summer's day. All right, first let's talk about proof. Proof is the indicator of how much alcohol is in the whiskey. Simply put, you take the ABV, alcohol by volume, and times it times two. That gives you the proof. So if something is 50 ABV, it's 100 proof. Proof is what a lot of people refer to when they talk about a burn or something being very smooth. The higher the proof, the more the burn, the lower the proof, the more smooth it is. Now that's not always the case. Proof done well can just enhance the flavors of a whiskey. But let's don't play games. The more alcohol that's gonna be in the whiskey, the more you're gonna get that warming or burning sensation in your chest. That's a spicy meatball. Now there's many times when that's exactly what I'm going for. But when it's 100 plus degrees outside, that's probably not it. So when it comes to proof for me and selecting the perfect drink for a hot day, I'm probably gonna stay 100 proof or even lower. The next thing we're gonna talk about is the mash bill. The mash bill refers to the types of grain used in making the whiskey. The four types of grain you're normally gonna see in a whiskey are corn, rye, wheat, and barley. But remember, we're trying to find the best one for a hot day. So let's look at each one of these grains and see what they bring to the whiskey. Now for a bourbon, it has to be at least 50 percent corn so let's start there corn usually brings a sweetness to the whiskey this is the grain that i think produces some of the cherry flavors some of those buttery notes and maybe a little honey and vanilla as well rye is the spicier of all the grains they're going to bring in like an herbal tea some of the darker like leathery notes and can also impart almost a peppery taste to the whiskey a fresh pepper oh sure all right let's say when when a grazie Wheat is another one of the sweet grains. I think wheat imparts more of the vanillas, the caramels, maybe the toffees, and kind of brings an overall creamy, maybe smoother mouthfeel. And last but not least is barley. Barley is the more neutral of all the grains and many times is malted. What that means is that barley produces the enzyme that's able to break the starches down in the other grains to sugar so it can become alcohol. Barley can create some flavors. What I normally get is something like oatmeal or like fresh bread. However, if it's an unmalted barley, I think it leans more to like a citrus or maybe maybe even lemon. So again, thinking about this is what I'm gonna drink on a hot day, I think you're gonna stick on something that's gonna stay on more of the sweet side. So looking for some corn, maybe even some wheat, you're probably gonna wanna stay away from the rye and even maybe those unmalted barleys. It doesn't mean you have to avoid rye completely, but just probably want it to be a low rye mash bill. Or you could avoid it all the way and go with a weeder. So now let's talk about the aging process and how that might impact your choice of the perfect whiskey on a hot day. Age is simply the amount of time that the whiskey sits in a barrel, but the aging process is tricky with a lot of different variables. That's a video in and of itself. And if you're interested in something like that, leave me a comment below and I'll get on it. But to answer this question about what's the best whiskey for a hot day, I think there's three key things you can kind of look at. One, of course, is just the amount of time that it's in there. Logically, the more time it spends in the barrel, the more the barrel's gonna make an impact. This can produce that more woody flavor that you get. It also can give you a more oily coating mouthfeel. Not a bad thing at all, but maybe not the best for a hot summer's day. The other thing that really impacts it is the climate where the barrel will be stored. The more changes in the climate, the more the barrel is going to contract and expand, therefore imparting more of that woody barrel flavor. Since that's not really what I'm looking for in a good summertime whiskey, I probably won't be going to a Texas whiskey anytime soon because man, they can get a lot of barrel on a low age stated whiskey. The other thing that's very important when it comes to the barrel is the char level. Char just refers to the amount of time like an open flame is exposed to the inside of the barrel. This can go from like a level one, which would be about 15 seconds and kind of a lightly toasted barrel flavor to a level four or five, which is going to be about a minute it and it's going to produce that alligator char where the wood gets black and kind of crackles up a little bit. A lot of whiskeys are done around three. That way they can get some of the wood impact, but it's not dominated by that smoky, ashy flavor you get on a heavily charred barrel. Again, we're talking about a summertime whiskey, so we probably want to avoid that altogether. That being said, I think about a level three char or below is what we're looking for here. So let's recap. I'm going to be looking for a whiskey that's under 100 proof, probably a lower rye mash bill, an age statement under 10 years, and the lower the char level, the better. But before I reveal what the number one whiskey that I find myself pouring on a hot summer's day is, don't forget to like, subscribe, and 
click that notification bell. I'd also like to see a comment of what your whiskey is for a hot summer's day. I do have some honorable mentions that almost took that top spot. My first honorable mention is Elijah Craig Small Batch. This one kind of checks all the boxes. It's a lower rye build, it's 94 proof, but all in all, this one's gonna be good on those hot summer's days. The second one that I have as an honorable mention is Smooth Ambler Big Level. Now this one is 100 proof and it's about five years old. This isn't a low rye build, it's a no rye build. This is a weeded bourbon. It's aged in the Appalachian Mountains, so the climate really lets this one be smooth and sweet and perfect for a hot day. But what's my number one? Gentleman Jack. Gentleman Jack is something that I normally just kept on my shelf because it's an easy drinker that most people can enjoy. But when it's been so hot lately, as you can see, I've been going back to it a little bit myself. And that's because this one's 80 proof. It's only got like 8% rye in its mash bill and it's somewhere around five years old. What I find when I pour this in my glass, I can just sip away on it and never feel like I'm heating myself from the inside out. And I actually feel kind of refreshed. All right guys, until next time.